project, so we're gonna try. And, uh, they're supposed to also show you these slides, but I skipped a lot of the slides, but let's, let's explain it very briefly. This is the way to understand this project today. It's five different subject areas, which has disappeared, but will come back soon. Let me try and remember, it's a good test. Ancient kingdoms, folk art, yeah, I got it, ancient history, yes. Royal heritage, ordinary people, I'm talking about, I'll show you an exhibition from that, amazing. Intangible heritage and preservation. Then, when you move on, I'll try and you get the different perspectives from the different kingdoms. This will expand, it's a, it's a lovely video. You will get all the different uh, details of Yongju oh, for, for a person who has never been there. It was absolutely fascinating. I think I'm going to now forget trying to click and go into the project because it's a little slow. So let's move straight to the project. And this is uh, the platform that Sohair will now take us through. Uh, I think if we could just go maybe into the so this is live on the internet as of today, uh, available to anybody for free, uh, translated in different languages. And uh, it's, it's kind of a very easy, uh, let's say, way to navigate through 30,000 amazing artifacts. We start with the uh, ancient kingdoms of Silla, and we, uh, what we do is we try and tell you a digital curated story for different topics. So this is for someone who doesn't know much about it. Starting, let's go a little slowly, so ahead. Uh, this is to ex explain, you know, the rulers, then starting to go into, you know, the location, the tombs, and as you go forward, you will start seeing that it can take an hour or two hours to really enjoy this presentation. And this is just one of 3,000 expertly told, you know, stories. So there's a lot to do here. For example, if you can click, if I like this cap, for example, I can actually read more about it, but I can actually also zoom in and really get to the details. So if I'm a craftsman, a modern craftsman, and I wanted to try and see how this was constructed, it is a very valuable resource. My mother who loves gold is going to love this because she doesn't care about art, but she loves anything that is gold. I tell the story every time, but uh, it's the only story I have about gold. So moving on very quickly, uh, let, me just, let me just pause for a second, Suhair, and show you that, as I explained, these are all individual, you could say, digital documentaries. It's a new way of getting people interested. So if you're on your phone on a bus stop, waiting for your bus to come, and you know you want to kill time, it's a great opportunity. That's the whole idea of culture, bite-sized, quick information. And then moving on, the Joseon dynasty, and this was one of my favorite articles because, you know, I didn't really, uh, it's, it's done by Professor Gyeongji, uh, Park Gyeongji, and I think Professor Park shares with us, you know, different kind of like, let's say, facts that sometimes get lost in academic world, you know, but it's very interesting to casual cultural consumption like me. For example, I heard that uh, seal impressions was a significant hobby of uh, the king at that time, and he collected hundreds of these seals, and actually in today's world, you know, he would be a collector of, uh, he would be a hobbyist collector, right? Uh, the part that really uh, inspired me was also to know that he bought coffee. He was, he was the first, let's say, you know, real coffee lover in this country. And, you know, these are, these, are, these are ways to really make these people a little bit more connected. You know, you can relate to them because everyone wants to know who bought coffee to Korea. Uh, let's move on to him very quickly. So, more exhibitions, we don't have time for them. Oh, I'm supposed to show this, so I will show this quickly. This, I was told uh, just this morning by the curator of the museum that record keeping was an art. And I didn't really understand how record keeping can be an art form, but then she took me to the room in the palace museum and she showed me the documentation. And it was absolutely fascinating. And all of these now have been digitized and st stories have been told about where they were located, why they are in such condition, and why did they play such an important role to tell everything that happened in the court. Uh, I think in terms of documentation of royal court history, it seems to be the most extensive I've ever seen. So that itself is very fascinating. And of course, much more. We are not going to show you everything. Let's go down. Now this is for people who just want to come in through the art section. 
they want to come in through paintings first. And this is something we call in painting tours, and we will click on uh, the first one. Ship Jan San Do. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I tried very hard. And uh, what I understood is that this is really a folding screen that talks about the ten symbols of prosperity. And you know what we try to do is give you a little story, and as you keep scrolling down, you zoom in directly to the different sections. And this makes the painting come alive online. Of course, it's better to see it in real, of course. But for people who don't have the access, this is another way of telling a beautiful story. And this, this one, we can go on and on, but I'm going to quickly go out. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see the uh, actual full image in high resolution, you can. And then you can just zoom in without any curatorial guidance. So you can have your own experience at the micro level details of these amazing uh, paintings. So moving on quickly. Thank you.